all right today we are on a trip and this trip is especially for dennis we're going somewhere dennis doesn't know where we're going no one knows where we're going it's a surprise minus him uh but we're pulling up to the place right now and we need to make a left turn so let's see where we are uh right here this is the left turn so we're gonna turn right i think here and then we're gonna go uh to the left and oh i see tanks what tanks over there whoa i see tanks too look at that Okay. Now you know where we were going? Yeah, Tank Museum. Actually, tank that's what I thought we were going. Yeah, oh, you, you've you guessed it? Yeah, I, I knew it all along. Oh, yeah? Who told you? Nobody. I just knew it. You just knew it? I knew it all so, along. Oh, someone called Howard, sir. Mm, yeah. What is this guy over here? I knew it. Oh, what that guy is a... Long Tom. Long Tom. I not... Long Tom. Yeah. yeah. I feel like the name someone would have for a Minecraft so, YouTube channel. Long time. And we got more. American armor. So that one is, I think that one is a, the M41 Walker Bulldog. I think that one right there. Okay. No, wait, that, no, wait, this one is an M41 Walker Bulldog. That's all right, all right. M60, wait, that's an M60 pack, that one. How about that's we, how about we park and check out, whoa, what yeah. are those yeah, actually, things? Right, so Dennis is going to explain us what all the tanks are and what everything is. All right, so we got three tanks here in the front. Dennis, here, why don't you tell us what these so, tanks are? So this, so this, this first one right here is the M4 Sherman tank. One of the most recognizable tanks and from World War II. Two was designed to replace the M3 Lee tank and it, and it was... It was a highly successful tank, which it had a good speed of to 45 to to so, to, so like 45 miles an hour. You can't drive this on the street, right? Because it doesn't have rubber pads. Yeah, yeah, you need a rubber. Climb up. So, and so it was a. Yeah. So these were outclassed by the. Those were eventually outclassed by the Tiger Ones and Panthers. And for what? But they were very good. But they were very successful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were very successful medium tank. Yeah, so this got proper tracks. So this one. So this guy right here is an M60 Pat tank. Wait. Uh huh. So the M60. This was the. This was a Cold War model. This one was. The M60 was a variant that. Wait. These are rubber pads all worn out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, the M60 was the very variant that was was that was one of the replaced by the MBT70 every in, in the 1970s, but it was too pricey, which is why they tried to make the X803 to replace this guy. But this way, that was also too expensive. But then they came out with the M1 Abrams. You probably heard that one, and it was replaced. See anything? You gotta show the tank. So this is the M60 pattern. I can tell that from the I can tell that from the wheel. So right. And, 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 and this guy next to us it, with it, the worn out rubber pads. Is the what? I think this is an M41 Walker Bulldog. Yeah. Yeah, you can see those in Germany actually. We now now whoa just in a in a, in just just rusting away those. All right. Should we go inside? Wait. So the. I don't really know much about the M41 Walker Bulldog, so don't try, so just research don't. it. All right, that's so that. so that's this is our introduction to the tanks that are outside. Now we're gonna go inside to the actual museum and see what they have in there. I think we have to pay uh, entry fees and then we can Yay. check it out. There we go. Oh, they have some, they have some vehicles too. Okay, there are also guns here, right? Look at this. Yeah. They're like this bullets. There's a plastic this is, bullet. This is don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. This is an M1919 medium machine gun. Mm -hmm. These were used during World War II. Actually, 
so used to save the military. But anyway, you all all outside the M2 brand. Okay, you okay, all right. Car. You know guns, you know tanks. Next Do you know what kind of typewriter this is? This is a code machine, I think. Oh, yeah? I think. I don't know. Hmm. Message. All right, we were told this thing is a real German um, half track. What? what and, I, and I found some grenades. Oh. Yeah, Andrew found some grenades. Are these wrong at all? No, of course they're not live. Oh, they these were alive. That would be acting A, criminal, yeah. and say but, B. But here's that the thing would some, be really awesome. some, some tanks or some vehicles are replicas, and this is a real thing from Germany. Oh, so this is what Dennis was talking about, the overlapping wheel suspension, which is not really good. Mm. As opposed to none. You can ask if we're allowed to enter here. Ooh, that steering wheel is all weird. I guess you kind of have to have it because of the angle of the armor or something. But I don't think we can get in here. But Andrew, if you want to ask them, maybe they'll be nice enough. And it's a tow truck, right? It looks like a tow truck right there. Left hand drive. No, but that's a left. That's a tow truck. This is a left hand drive. That's that's also a tow. Truck. This is like some kind some kind of towing thing, right? If if you is there a AAA for cars, so you get it, you get towing. And I don't know what this one is. I don't know why is there beeping. Oh, because there's dude on the forklift, and there is a tractor. All right, so this is non-overlapping wheel suspension, right, Danis? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, what I mean, yeah, because the wheel don't overlap on something like a tiger. Right, you know, not like the other one was. That's a that's a tank that was, was it? That was like the you know the the common tank of World War Two. The right. The German tank. You should know about that. Motor yeah. pool. What the hell? Um. So yeah, this is how these things lower and tanks can drive on there and yeah. wow. Tell me what to do, son. And yeah, this babe. is this is for troops, right? The troops would be in there. Yeah, I think and so. I think and then you the can engine. see, yeah. Found the engine's right there. Yeah, don't accidentally sit on it. Oh, that's a replica. Dennis is asking all kinds of questions over there. I found this line. Yeah. Cylinder head. I think it's yeah. like four cylinder. And I found the forklift, which has nothing to do with the the, the history of this museum. We're gonna do something. Else. Yeah. So there's like a water pump for some reason. Cylinder head. Well, I'm pretty sure the cylinder head is from the tank. Yeah, that's um, definitely. I'm guessing they re. Either, either this is a replica and they doing something. I don't know which one is replica, which one, and I'm confused here. I think this is an SDK SZ11. These are actually designed to also tow pack four. These are the eighth tank. Well, okay. The best tank, eighth tank of the second know, This doesn't look like a half track. It looks like a, uh, you know, seven eighths track. But this is, but, but this looks like What about this, what about this one, Dennis? This looks so, kind of... The Vol 100. I never heard of that. Whatever that was. Ooh. Let's see what's inside. Ooh. Okay. We can lock in here. Yes. No, we can't. Go in, we cannot go in, but we can see. There you, you go. Have to, uh, try to jump. jump. Yeah, I'm And over here you can peek a little bit. It's looking. I don't anything. Hmm. Whoa, we found Model T. That's pretty cool. But obviously, yeah, that one is uh, really weird to drive, I hear. Yeah, it's 100. It's supposed to be 100. There's the plus crank two. to start the engine. You go. Yeah. I don't know what this thing. Unlike today, where you where you have the start, where you push can just button. push a button and the thing starts right up. Right. That looks kind of interesting. All right. Uh, who are you? Oh, this is a kitchen. This is a kitchen where they would be cooking stuff for soldiers. Wait, this is an MG42. What are the what, what the 
the what a, a very powerful machine that you use during yeah. the Germans during and, World War and II. And that should be anti-aircraft. Yeah, something. that should be anti-aircraft. Well, both both of them. That one. Yeah, let's go ask the lady about that one the cylinder and head. this one. Okay, that, let's not do cylinder heads. It's not what we're here for. They're just doing maintenance on an engine. We don't need to get involved in it. Ooh, and there's a. So this is anti-aircraft something. Quad 50 so quad, caliber machine gun battery. Quad 50. Okay. Well, and these are rocket, uh, rocket yeah, launchers. Yeah, these are anti-tankers. I think this was a, I think that's a Panzer Shrek, I think. This is what gets launched from it. This yeah. Thing. I think one of these should be the bazooka. I think that one is the bazooka. Yeah. You anti-tank rockets. And you actually found a bazooka, oh. a and bazooka look, bazooka rocket. And look at the cutaways. Those are different 40 yeah. millimeter ammunition right there. 40 millimeter rat shells. Yeah. There are lots more different vehicles over here. Yeah. Medical. Oh. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. It's in for no, USB. It even has a New York inspection sticker. This is for USB. USB. Yeah, you can just uh, take it for a drive. No problem. It's got the V8 engine there. So, staff car. So, this would explain to you what the car is. I don't know which one it is, but if you look at it. Also, V8? Yeah. So this one is actually pretty, looks pretty cool. Well, this one is Plymouth. So that, I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't really know old cars. Yeah, but see, they're all got inspection stickers. But the license plates would be uh, probably like historical or something like that. There wouldn't be like a normal license plates on it. And what this thing is, ooh, M155 millimeter gun um not totally sure what's going on here this is for for gasoline uh, right a jerry can yeah um and those are different tools for aiming oh so they see here they show you how they aim over right because that's not aiming is quite important you know you don't want to just be like shooting you need to be like hitting things right and uh, this is radio so this is press those would be the reporters who would report on things <laughs> so Dennis what do you think of museum so far great great yeah yeah too bad the, too bad the, too bad the tiger they don't have is real that's because it's actually just a replica replica right yeah so Actually, taken from a from a Soviet T thirty five tank. And mm -hmm. It was a in the real Tiger. They're actually you see it's smaller than real Tiger one. Oh, that's what's inside the shell. This thing is crazy. Well, I don't know what's what, but um, I'm guessing the white stuff is the thing that goes boom. <laughs> Gunpowder. <laughs> yeah gunpowder or something else okay so those are the real bullets kids were asking like what because all the bullets are plastic so what they did is they drilled a hole and got the gunpowder out right so it's so not so they so, want to be dangerous right so they're not that alive. is not a really smart idea so that's not a lot so it's a live round not a live round anymore but that's exactly what the bullets yeah, but look this like is an air cell i think we're looking at the, the japanese stuff yeah, here these right? are air cell yeah yeah the rifles the rounds and the bayonet the sword those are all japanese minis weaponry but they would like, like the, like actually, the, actually the, this is the, this Arasaka 399 actually has a, a bipod. Oh yeah? yeah? Oh, you could see, yeah, that unfolds. It's kind of, it's kind of thin wire, but yeah, that would work. Oh, and those are rounded tip rounds, right? For yeah. some reason. Yeah, behind, yeah, there were no closer to the ones that have actually pointed balls. I think, I think the one behind was the... Earlier, earlier, yeah, the 1099, mm. kind of, right. they upgraded to have point bullets and the bipod. Wait, what's this? Oh, this is a German pistol, right? Yeah, that's the mouth of C-98. It's just the German stormtroopers. Oh. Yeah, those are during World War One. Whoa, that's a landmine. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That, that thing, yeah? Mm -hmm. So big. Oh, oh, MP40 and a Wooker POA. Yeah, those are kind of interesting. Oh, we got so many. There's a grenades with a handle. 
right? Why do they have handle? Yeah, the hand, yeah, this is the this is the the this the stick was designed so to allow you to throw the grain further. Uh -huh. But it, but it's a, but it's not as powerful. But, but the grain here is not as powerful. Right. You have the MP40 here. The another doll have like this model 1937, model 1915. Come on, I can tell what the wood you are. Those are smoke for. grenades over there. And then. And the real M grenades. And it looks like a M4 carbine with an M16 mag. Ooh, SKS. Mm hmm. Well, well, what is this thing? That's probably also like a. Oh, smoke oh, M1 thing. helmet. Mm hmm. Okay. So there is a lot more than just tanks and RVs. Yeah, there is, there is a lot more, definitely. All right, this got, this tank's got a lot of history and... Yeah, so you yeah, basically had an engine yeah. swap, the uh, transmission got knocked uh, out. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, well, I think I'm too slow. Never mind. I'll see a hole back here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hit here, mounted this armor, and knocked out inside. This yeah. is the engine exhaust. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not too surprised that it was. Yeah, it's a knock I'm not too surprised out. that. I'm not too surprised yeah. it was knocked out by by shots to the rear because the rear armor armor is really thin. You know, the top armor yeah. is the thinnest. Yeah. Tail ends are usually thinner than most. Tank's got a lot of questions there, but we got this tank destroyer. I don't know. We can kind of peek inside a little bit with the camera, so let's do that. I don't know if you can see anything, but yeah. It's got all kinds of guns and the shovel. All kinds of stuff. Yes, that's the air intake over there and something for towing. Um, this is kind of like a sibling in a way to it. Um, they had to use something different because this was, the LBT was used more in the Pacific Theater. And the Pacific uh, Japanese islands tended to have more like coral and kind of rough terrain to get onto the actual islands. So right, that's where the engine is, I'm sure. Engine would be yeah. interested, and then a nice slash hammer over here with an axe. So, well equipped. Amazing grace. I think by now we saw everything on the inside. We asked lots of questions. Well, Dennis did. Um, Actually, Andrew talked about mechanical stuff as well. Let's go check out things that are outside. Oh, and fun fact, that cylinder head is actually for a eight-cylinder engine. It's it's a V8. It's definitely a V8 because that was a four-cylinder cylinder head. It was the size for four cylinders. So, and it should be with another one because it's definitely not an inline eight. I don't even know if those exist. All right, Dennis, you enjoyed this? This is yeah. fun. Yeah, but we we're got... not done yet. Oh, we're not done yet? We got some outdoor stuff here. Okay. Oh, we have that. We yeah, have... Now we have some more missiles. Oh, and yeah, we still have a few... Missiles? Missiles, right. We're going to check those out. Yeah, don't 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 climb on the missiles. We will blow yourself when you turn the car. Actually, we saw the tank back there and some more stuff. Oh, we can go look at that stuff too. Okay. That, so this. All right, all right. Okay, what is Long Tom? What is that that guy a, shoot? I think I'm not sure. I think it's a mobile artillery piece. Okay, and that shoots like those big shells that we saw. So what is a target? Like other tanks or? I don't Oh, this is like a this is like a general like howitzer something something. Actually, they did have howitzers during World War II. So maybe, all right. And so I guess you crank this and you move that, and it all moves and aim, and then you go boom boom and it shoots. <laughs> boom boom. <laughs> That's like a giant barrel. Wait, so what's what? I want to point this. So we have. Vehicle Howitzer. Yeah. I think this is a Howitzer. Yeah. Howitzer. I guess. I don't, I don't know. know what that is. It's just a self propelled gun. But that barrel is huge. Yeah, it should be a. I think that well, should be a self 
this one's pretty big too. Oh, and you could see rifling on the inside a little bit. Yeah. Wow, these things. Yeah. Check out what thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going there. We're going. Don't worry. We're just checking this out. This one's got a plow. This is for, well, plowing through something, right? I don't know what this is. Plow. So, okay, be careful. Plowing through the rocks. Yeah. So I don't know where the person sits. Oh, I guess person's like person would be over here somewhere and. Oh, over there, right. So that's where a person sits and then they adjust all kinds of stuff and boom, boom. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, we got we got one more tank over there and we got that guy over there. We have artillery piece here. All right, which, what tank is this, Dennis? I have no idea, right? I'm not... Oh, you don't know everyone? Okay, all right. Well, we can... Oh, so I'm guessing that's like a little periscope for looking at things. So you don't stick your head out. Because sticking your head out is always bad. Yeah, it's a very bad idea. Yeah, because there are like bullets and things flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like going into battle with your main hatch open is a, is a very bad idea. Right, but, but and yeah. this is again, this is not a good suspension setup, right? That's what you were explaining no, to me. this is actually a good one. Oh, it's not overlapping wheel. Yeah, because, because, because if you see overlap, you would see a bit wheel behind or a part of this kind of wheel. Oh, I, don't I see, I see. Good it's not I got overlap. it, I got it. it. Okay, I understand now. So there are like two sets of wheels, one behind the other. That's an overlapping. And this one is the same wheel is used for top and the bottom and such. Well, we can see, we can see rifling on that as well. Whoa. Can I see the rifling? Uh, you can kind of see up there. Yeah, I can see some. All right. A giant spring to absorb some of the recoil. There are holes to see. Yeah, to see, you and, this, and some armor to protect there. the. Protect there are actually the multiple men. springs in there. Yeah. Yeah, there are two. And this thing digs into the ground, right? It it digs in, and when it shoots, like it, it just pushes on the ground because the force of the shell that they shoot, you know, the equal force is transmitted back into the ground. All right, I think everyone has enjoyed this. The only thing that's missing is uh, some kind of lunch. Yeah, find our own lunch. No, let's... Well, uh, Museum of American Armor is actually very interesting. Now, what's really interesting here is they do all kinds of reenactments when they drive some of these tanks, right? And right now they're in the winter mode already because it's winter. I mean, it doesn't seem cold, but you know, we're like in November. Uh, so November. we're gonna come back. It's getting kind of chilly here in New York. Yeah, we're gonna come back in the spring, and they're gonna drive. I don't know if they're gonna drive these tanks, but they're gonna drive some of the tanks, and they uh, have different experiences where you can actually get inside the replica vehicles, maybe dress up, and um, be driven around and watch some kind of historical reenactment. So that is something we want to come back for. Is that right, yeah, Dennis? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that would be in the spring not right now right now we're gonna go get some food thank you for joining us on this awesome video we'll see you later so on our way back we have to drive through a giant thunderstorm that's moving our way and i think we're getting into it it is like pretty crazy with the winds and the leaves and all kinds of stuff flying at us how are you guys doing back there Whoa, yeah, well, there is, lightning. there's lightning like right above us and now we can actually see it. Yeah, yeah this, this is uh, something. So we're gonna drive slowly and carefully to get home in one piece. Yeah. Except, except, except past the roof. Oh! 
Okay, nobody panic. We're doing good. Yeah, I know. Nobody's panicking. No one's panicking. Good. Yeah. It's just lightning and thunder. Yeah. I just hope, to, I just hope we don't get electrocuted. No, we will not be. We're inside the car. We're okay. Alright, we're gonna concentrate on driving safely and not making video while driving, how's that?